Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about animation, Cartoon Network, and, and kind of the future of it. And this thing going on with Infinity Train, which is one of the few good series I think Cartoon Network has done the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. It's getting canceled. Uh, it got canceled unceremoniously for reasons which we're going to talk about, but the interesting thing around the cancellation of Infinity Train is the reason why they canceled it. They basically said that they do not want a young adult audience anymore. If you're going to do something for Cartoon Network, it's going to be strictly kids. I'm sorry, I can just hear Twitter reading, right, as you say that. Yeah, all of these web comics people, all of these Twitter I was people, like Tumblr people, Tumblr, all of these people who have dreamt of getting an animated TV show picked up by Cartoon Network, it's not gonna happen. I'm not talking about this now, I'm talking about people watching it. Oh yeah. Cause you know yeah. what? It's not for you, it's for the children. Well that's what, that's I mean, what- I love saying that. Cartoon, <laughs> that's what Cartoon Network's basically saying now. I know. They're, they're basically saying Cartoon Network's not for you. It's for the children. Uh, it's for the children. Um, and then on the other side of it, they have, you know, the uh, merger of Adult Swim with uh, HBO Max. Mm -hmm. So you've got like the, the, the adult adult stuff, and then you've got the kids stuff, but there isn't this like in between anymore as far as they're concerned. So this is gonna be really interesting to see how this changes the landscape. Now, I talked a little bit about it yesterday on Twitter, actually the showrunner, I, I, I won't go into specifics as to what he said, but he was very, very salty. I missed it because by the time I got to read it, it was gone. Yeah, he pulled it down. It was a great thread. He made a lot of really, really good points. He basically said, Cartoon Network is gonna shoot itself in the foot by closing the doors on all these pitches. But I got to think Cartoon Network's like, no, we want kid shows because the kids and the merchandise and the- You want actual you know. kid shows for an actual kid audience and not the not a quote unquote kid show that's actually just a disguise for the you know te older teen and adult audience who want to you know, insert ships and shit in there. Yeah. And I have to wonder if this isn't kind of like low key pushback against shows like Steven Universe mm -hmm. that were- she Yeah. That were sort of like backdoor, like, oh- this is for a kid, really. This is a kid show. And it really was for teens and early 20-somethings. Um, not, you know, and, and they weren't selling merchandise. You know, they really weren't selling merchandise for Steven Universe. The stuff was on clearance like a month well, after it dropped. Adventure Time, I think, actually started out for kids. Yes. And, that, and then when there's a definite clear shift when, when the, the creators were shifted. Mm -hmm. And it became something else. I think that was the start of this whole idea that shows, you know, are actually, or we're marketing for kids, but it's actually for these, you know, you know, teens to 30 year olds who, you Tumblr. know, yeah. Tumblr. Basically Tumblr, which is yeah. now Twitter. Yeah. And, and I've joked before and I'm not trying to disparage Portland at all. Believe me. I'm not. He's not. He, I'm not. I just, I'm joking. I'm joking when I say that. But I, I always said that they're cartoons uh, supposedly for kids that actually wind up being for young adults in Portland. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and we've seen this. And this is kind of a, I would say this is from like 2014, 2015 on mm -hmm. where. The car, you know, a lot of times you had cartoons, kids cartoons that had, you know, adult fans or family audience or whatever, but that was the real shift when they were basically like, oh yeah, this is a kid's show, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, when it clearly is not designed for little kids, at least, you know, looking at Steven Universe, um, looking at Infinity Train, which I do think is a good show, you know, but Cartoon Network is changing their focus. So we're going to, we're going to talk about that before we get into it any further, mm -hmm. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, we're over 187,000 subs. Uh, we do talk about animation. I talk about pop culture, talk about comics, whatever interests us that day. Mm -hmm. And yay. we've... Yay. We've, yeah, you forgot to do your yay. Sorry, I was distracted. Uh, she has to do her little yay. Uh, but we do... Yeah, we do talk about the animation industry in a very blunt business-like fashion, which angers some people on Tumblr and Twitter. Okay, my last video wasn't very business-like. I think <laughs> I forgot, if you took a shot every time I said the F word, you'd, you'd be dead. Sometimes, you know, you gotta call it out. But, you know, when it comes to cartoons, we've, we've been talking about this, kind of following the industry and following the trends. And we've remarked on several occasions about a lot of the shows popping up, especially on Cartoon Network, that were clearly not for kids. Um, a lot of them were just, you know, thinly disguised young adult, adult shows that weren't adult enough for Adult Swim. And now Cartoon Network seems to be drawing lines saying, no, it's got to be a kid show. Um, so we'll see. 
So this is coming from CBR, and it's one of the few times I actually agree with Ruben Barron. Mm -hmm. uh, what Infinity Train's cancellation means for the future of Cartoon Network. Now, they've completely canceled it. We're going to talk about they pulled the plug on the comics, the games, the Choose Your Own Adventure books, everything. Like, it is canceled, yeah, canceled. Yeah, like, really canceled. Like, uh, what the heck's going on? It is beyond canceled. And the creator was out there... Very, very salty. Understandably. Uh, I would be too. So the cancellation, allegedly due to Book 5 lacking a child entry point, is a bad omen for Cartoon Network's future programming. So uh, creator Owen Dennis said the Cartoon Network rejected a completed script for an Infinity Train Book 5 movie because it focused on Amelia, an adult character, and lacked a child entry point. This news has left a lot of Infinity Train fans frustrated and confused, Cartoon Network has had plenty of successful shows about adult characters over the years, from Samurai Jack to regular show. So if the current management reject current, again, current management, which is changing over mm -hmm. there and has changed quite a bit, rejected Infinity Train Book 5, it makes one wonder if they would have rejected those shows if they were pitched today. Yes. Yeah, they would have, based on what they're looking for now. Yes. Yeah, so uh, Kelly Turnbull, who is a storyboard artist who used to work in web comics, mm -hmm. by the way. Um, many guys doing manly things. Or is that what it was? Manly yeah. guys doing many things. Something, manly something. Guys, yeah, manly things. A thing. bunch of guys doing a bunch of things. Uh, was a storyboard artist for Cartoon Network on the 2016 Ben 10 reboot. reboot I'm sorry. <laughs> the answer is yes. The standards Cartoon Network and most other children's animation studios follow. Children's have, animation studios. Children's, children's animation studios. You know, it's not for you. It's for the ch actual children. Uh, they have grown ever more restrictive with an increased focus on preschooler friendly programming. That actually is true because they've got like the, what was it? The Batman, the Batmobile show or something or bat cars or superhero cars know, or some it. dumb stuff. Our kids are older. We don't watch that now. You know what the... What the root of it is, is the merchandising. Mm -hmm. Paw Patrol toys. So, so like crazy. Sell. And they're like, we want another Paw Patrol. We want another Peppa Pig. We want, you know. Bluey. Bluey. Because this stuff sells. The toys sell. That's what this is all about. Merchandising. Well, that, I think they got tired of the shippers. Probably sending them threats because they didn't get their ship. And they're probably like, but it's a kid's show. You know? <laughs> you know? Yeah. I think they, they start out and they, they actually mention, um... It, later in the article that Adventure Time started out as more of a kid show. Oh, yes. I didn't even read this, but that's what I thought of. Yeah. Um, so here we go. The, the list of shows Turnball cites as likely to be rejected due to lacking child entry points uh, include SpongeBob, regular show G.I. Joe, Looney Tunes, Angry Beavers, Rocco's Modern Life, Cat Dog, Ren, Stamping, Garfield, and Friends. Uh, Rugrats would have the opposite problem. While studios don't want shows with protagonists way older than the target audience, they also don't want protagonists younger than the target demographic. Basically, everybody's got to be in preschool. You know, villain protagonists, a la Pinky and the Brain or Invader Zim, are currently considered to be most, mostly off limits now due to fears of imitable behavior. Oh, my God. This is like the crazy thing where they used to have to worry about Looney Tunes and they had to tell people not to not to repeat that stuff at home. Don't drop an anvil on somebody's Right, that's head. what this reminds me of. When all these people were like all upset they couldn't have shows because they were afraid kids were going to go and try to like, you know, outrun a roadrunner and run into a wall or things like that. That's what it sounds like they're going. They said another thing, and we're going to pull up this thread. Um, now, this is Turnbull's thread, not the showrunner's thread, which got pulled down. By the way, it was... You should have screen captured. I know. I didn't think it was going to get pulled down. Come on, you know that they'll pull it down. Yeah, somebody got to him. Somebody said, hey, if you want to work again, don't do this. Too uh, late. They said the network only wants strictly comedy pitches at the moment. This seems like a serious departure from the genre-bending programming that brought the network success through the 2010s. First, of, uh, first season of Adventure Time could be described as strictly comedy. It got weird. Yeah, it evolved into something a lot more complex. And it would take amazing mental gymnastics to pitch Steven Universe, even in its lighter first season, as strictly comedy. Uh, Infinity Train was continuing that trend of emotionally complex comedy adventure storytelling. So For people that weren't kids. Yeah, so regular show, as I understand it, was originally supposed to be an adult swim show. That I, I get regular show being an adult swim show. That makes sense. And, you know, we've got the, the showrunner of, uh, you know, Quintel's over there doing... Um, Close enough on HBO Max, which is merged with Adult Swim. So that that makes sense. Yeah, I guess what, get, what gets me is like, you could actually do more Infinity Train on HBO Max. But is it worth it financially? Because mm -hmm. animation's expensive. Do they care? That, would they rather take that money and put it into something new? You know? Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's really interesting to see where things are going right now. But this does seem 
you know, in some ways to be sort of a overcompensation, kind of a, a, a slapping back against a lot of the Steven Universe type shows. I think they're going to definitely, you know, cut cut off the um, flow of new ideas doing this because it's all going to be Paw Patrol type crap probably. Mm-hmm. But it's also like, you know, we tried Steven Universe it didn't sell. We didn't have any merchandise. We spent money on the Infinity Train. There's no merchandise I'm aware of. Well, I'm also little. like, I'm, I'm telling you, I think the way that the, the audiences that, that latched on to this stuff and the directions they took it and the, 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 the stuff we saw happen, they didn't get their ships, their bullying show, the part, the people in the show. I'm sure there were letters sent to the studios. I'm sure there was lots of shit going down. Yeah. And they just might not have anything to do with it. Like, we're going to stick with the kid demographic, you know, 11 and under and not, and, and not worry about this shit because as soon as we do any show that skews older, here comes the crazies. And, yeah. that, and you know, I would not. I would. I would bet you they were. They were harassing the studios. Avatar was the original. Avatar was a kid show. Had a kid entry point. We had Aang. He was like eleven. You know, on the show, and and look what happened. That's where a lot of the shipping, the cartoon shipping, started. And uh, yeah, it just got ridiculous to the point where, you know, the, these executives probably are getting threats all the time. Mm-hmm. I, I can't imagine. You didn't get in my ship. Yeah. <laughs> Let me send you a box of uh, cookies with needles in them or whatever. For the children, unless it's a show I like. So they were developing all kinds of merchandise for it. So not only is the show canceled, but so are plans for tie-ins, including games, comics, and choose your own adventure. I mean, this is, I can completely understand why he, uh, Owen Dennis, lost his shit on Twitter. You know, but he's also probably like, oh, man, I got to rein it in or I'm, yeah, I'm going to I'm, I'm going to get in trouble for, I dare say, you know, saying that I'm upset for good reason. I mean, he probably he had, he had a good reason to be upset. Yeah. So he said um, there were various plans that had been in development. There are plans to make a video game. We once had a VR Infinity Train experience where you hung out and solved puzzles. Uh, only 10 people got to play it. I really wanted to make comics and have them take place in different parts of the world with different writers. And the problem the problem with this and with pitching a show to Cartoon Network, and we did a video on this previously, is they own your stuff. Yeah, I was saying, you can't. You can't take it and do it as a comic because they own it. Yeah, no. And it's not like, um, you know, live action. We're looking at the uh, the situation now with Predator where the rights are, you know, Disney's going to have to fight to keep the rights to Predator from the, the writers. And I think there needs to be some expiration on that with um, the showrunners of cartoons, too. Or they should have the option of being able to buy it back. Like... If you're not using my show, and we saw this with like a Megas XLR, I guess they were, you know, they had the option to buy it back, but it was way out of the price range, probably millions mm-hmm. of dollars. But they should be like, well, if you don't do another reboot or something within the next 10 years, I got the option to to get it back and go someplace yeah, else. Yeah, but no one's going to do that because no. the ball is always in the studio's court. If you want the opportunity, you have to play by their rules. That's the problem. Yeah, and that was what his his thread was about. His thread was basically about how... The system is stacked against creators and the studios historically have had the money. And if you wanted to get a show picked up, you had to go through Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon or whatever. And he's like, now he's starting to advocate more for creator owned, independently run studios. Which is what we've been telling telling you. Yeah. So all these people are a little slow in the uptake. Yeah. But that's what happens. You, you, you're like, oh, yeah, I got this deal. The downside is usually you sign away your rights and they get to walk away. So they get to walk away with everything. You have ideas, you do all the work, and they get to walk away with it and do whatever they want with it. And they can reboot it in five years with somebody else and he not, not even get to be involved. They, they've done it before. Yeah. So. Yeah. So mostly it's people who are salty that, uh, you know, it's not, they're not going to age up their content. Uh, Turnbull says the bigger issue right now is the gap between kids content and adult content is increasing in a way that you need to sell a show on being for six-year-olds or 20-year-olds with almost no interest in development for teenagers. Um, yeah, but I'm going to be honest here. A lot of the quote-unquote development for teenagers just means that you're getting a She-Ra show that's like older teens into the 20s and 30s. And whether even if you're trying to say, even though the, demogra- the demographic they had listed at was for like seven-year-olds, so like 11-year-olds, yeah. that's never the demographic it was ever for. And even by the episodes, it was clear not for that, that range age range. So this is just really interesting, though, to see what's going to happen, because if you're going to go through a, a studio or a streamer, chances are it's, it's either going to have to all in on adult or you're going to have to really age stuff down. 
Or you could do it yourself. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Japan, Meanwhile, kids in Japan, are all watching Demon Slayer and, and saying that, that, you know, Tanjiro is their hero more so than their parents or their teachers. But, you know. And the movie was rated R and they uh-huh. brought it over here. Yeah. So, yeah, I expect uh, I expect Twitter and Tumblr to implode. <laughs> you know, their brains are going to melt because a lot of these people, they're like, I'm... When I get out of art school, I'm going to go pitch a show to Cartoon Network, and oh it's going to have all my ships. They I've got all, all have it. Out. They all have it. They're oh, all like all of them. Yeah. Uh, you know, a side note, which is kind of funny, I thought was hilarious. Uh, Squid King's comment about um, the new show coming to uh, from Pixar, um, Luca. Oh, Luca, yeah. And yeah. he basically he was like, "It looks like Cal Arts." He's like, "It looks like Cal Arts." They were given a budget. That's what he. <sighs> It's funny. Like, oh, that's the kid knows what he's talking about. Anyway, he does. He does. The um, backgrounds are gorgeous, though. Yeah, actually, Luca, I think looks pretty okay. Mm-hmm. I, I think it. I mean, I just thought it was funny that he said that because he's, yeah. they are kind of going. It's, it's not, it isn't as bad as that, but I can see where he's coming from. And I thought it was funny. It's unrelated, but related. It maybe, is related. Maybe laugh. I think. I think what we're going to see though, because of this, is I think all these like Cal Art style shows that everybody's been running out. I think their time is is up. I agree. Unless they find a way to do it themselves. You know, or they age the characters down and still use that art style. I, I just don't see same. how it's going to. Yeah. It all looks the same. Yeah. And that's just it. And I think, you know, especially these, these these shows that are for this age range, the characters all look the same. Yeah. For Tumblr by Tumblr. I, yeah. And uh, I mean, somebody will pick, I'm sure somebody will pick it. You know, Netflix, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We'll I think, see. I think, I guess my thing is, it's about, so, so much so upset about the fact that, you know, they're just doing kids only. I mean, I think that's kind of crap because they need a, a wider variety. But like... I think they should be looking at shows that, that are, are different than the same old, same yeah. old. And I think that should be the mandate. Let's try to find some shows that are different and not all look alike. Well, yeah, because they, you know, Adventure Time was very different when it came out. But then it set the tone it, yeah. that everything started to look like Adventure Time, you know. And now it's like, okay, that that decade is over. Let's move into something else. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Yep. Oh, Tumblr most affected. Um, Pretty much. All right. So we're going to wrap this one up? Yeah. Okay. So please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.